Guys, we're getting very, very close to the full stable release of Android 16. Google has just released Android 16 beta number four. I have installed it on my first gen Pixel Fold. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a handful of changes that do kind of stand out to me. Now, as we go through these, keep in mind that Google is sometimes prone to adding features to the beta that won't actually be there when the stable version is released. And some of these features, I think that might be the case with them because they seem very, very redundant. For instance, if we click on any application and we swipe up and hold, and then we click our little icon up here at the top, I just messed that up by clicking in an open space, click that icon up there at the top, you will see that screenshot and select now appear in this dropdown. They also appear down here at the bottom of the screen where they have always been. So they've added them to that dropdown. I don't know why we need them twice like this. Screenshot takes a screenshot. The select button allows you to click on text on that screen and Google it, copy it, share it, whatever you might want to do. But for me, the weird thing is just that it's already down here. Why do we need it twice? In the same vein as that, if we long press on our home screen, apps list will appear. What does this do? It opens up your app drawer. You just swipe up to get you to your app drawer. I don't know why we need the app drawer in two different places. Again, this seems strangely redundant to me. However, if we do go into wallpaper and style and we scroll down to look at themed icons, you'll see that the little text next to this that used to say this was in beta has been removed. They've removed it before and they've put beta back and now they've removed it again. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there personally. I think it should still say beta because not all icons are themed whenever you turn this on. I would love to have seen Google do something like Apple has done where icons are forced to be themed. Otherwise, we end up with a situation like this where some are and some aren't, which to me means that it's just not something that I can actually happily use because it looks bad. I'm being very negative in this video so far, and unfortunately, I guess I'm going to continue being negative because the next feature is, or the next change, is something that I don't think that I really like. If we start playing some media, and then we swipe down to see the little artwork there that shows that media is being played, they have darkened it fairly significantly, just making it pop a whole lot less. If we jump over here to shanecraig.tech, where I did a write-up on all of these different changes, I have a photo here showing the Android 16 Beta 4 version, and then what is currently running stable on my Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Which one do you think looks better? I like the one that's using some of the accent colors from the album artwork and brightening the thing up a little bit more than the one that's darker. This is definitely subjective, though. You might prefer the darker one, just for me. I like having a little bit more pop, a little bit more color in my life. If you go to your system settings and then go to the navigation mode, Underneath gesture navigation, we do now have a demo set up here where it'll kind of show you how to go home, how to go back, and then how to switch apps. This is definitely something that they've probably needed for a little while just to kind of teach people how to use their phones a little bit better, especially if you're coming from an iPhone. This might be a little bit different for you, so this is definitely a good one. Animations look really nice as well. And the last one that I want to highlight is something that had been driving me crazy anytime I'd mess around with this device. I use folders down here at the bottom of my taskbar, and if I would click on a folder, the folder's background color would be a little bit darker and it would flash to the correct lighter color every single time. So I'm super pleased that they have finally squashed that bug. Of course, with this being a beta number four, they're not usually going to be adding a bunch of new features. They're going to be fixing the last handful of things to get this thing ready to be shipped out to everyone. And that is basically what they are doing here. See a list of additional bug fixes on the screen there as well. Not going to go through them all, but yes, lots of bug fixes being done. And that is because Android 15 is likely to launch, or Android 16, I should say, is likely to launch sometime around June of 2025. I will also note that the brand new Pixel 9a is also now part of this beta. So if you bought that Pixel 9a and you want to get in on this Android 16 beta for action, you are fully capable of now doing that. If you want to see an earlier video talking about Android 16 Beta 1, where there are several more features that were added earlier on, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. If you want to see this in written form, I'll put a link to that article at shanecraig.tech down in the description as well. Guys, if you want to help support this channel in a more direct way, consider clicking that join button down below. 
you're going to get access, early access, to some video content, and you're going to help make me a little bit less reliant on ad revenue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.